folks, and welcome back to Survival Challenge here on No Man's Land. So, first of all, we're starting off today with set some goods. This includes 3,000 litres of gold, some pancakes, some sugar, and some cakes. Of course, if you remember from the last episode, I've set all of our productions to sell, just because the, well, well I say all, almost all, all of our productions. That's because, yeah, it just was getting a bit out of hand with having to manage all the pallets and that, so I thought, you know what, let's just go and sell everything. There we go, and that's all bit. And yeah, anything we're not selling at the moment is things like the belts, the clothes, and anything to do with the new great horse and stuff. So for that, we got 74 grand. Yeah, so it's 4,985 quid, so not too bad. And next, what we have to do is move some of these pallets over because we are filled with bells. And yeah, these are worth a lot of money. If we have a look at the prices, so belts at the moment 5,600 pounds, but if we wait a little bit longer till January or February. We can get around six grand almost, so you know what? I won't wait on that. I think we should leave this down here. We've got so many pads spawned. How many have we got left to spawn? I well, know that's it, really. I think we have a lot of bells, but haven't seen lots of shoes popping up for some reason. And if we compare the two, shoes are worth more. Shall we look at the cycles again, in case I've may have missed on something? Actually, that makes sense, because per month we get ten times more belts than shoes for the same amount, so... Because, yeah, that is a 1 to 5, whilst that is a 2 to 1, so... I'm guessing that makes sense, but if we look at the prices again... We're still making more money, even that ratio difference, from belt, so... Where's that too? So you what? I'm not complaining on that. Keep the belts coming. But yeah, maybe in the next episode what we'll do is go grab everything and have like a big old send session of belts, clothes and shoes. And even over here we've still got a fair amount of... what? what's this again? Oh yeah, grape juice and sparkling, I think it's, yes, yeah, sparkling, yes, premium grape juice and sparkling grape juice, and again, they're at their peak around January or February, so, yeah, I'll wait a little bit longer, it'll be interesting to see how much money we can get from all this, like, even though we're going to be doing too much work with grapes, I think, so I think we will do one more great harvest as the end of the series here. Because I think as I'm recording this on Tuesday, the Lizard Colossus pack is in testing. And I think one of the rumors were a modded version of the Great Harvester. So if that's the case, that'd be nice. Whereas even though the speed, for me personally, it's more of a capacity because if we go to our tools and that, so go to our tools, go to our great technology, like capacity is at 3100 litres, and when we do this vineyard, on average it's about 8% full, so every time we do one trip down, Okay, not the little bits here on this end, but as you go further into the field, you can only do one pass at a time, and if you have something like 10 times the capacity, for example, that I would not complain that. Yes, it's unrealistic, but again, that is sort of being the general param parameters of the series of going unrealistic with stuff, and Actually, it's German actually as well. Fill it with fuel. 77 quid or so. And I think we've got some grapeseed oil here. But 
yeah, also, we've got a few things to do today. We need to do the corn harvest. So we get the corn in to our productions and convert that into cereal. And then, yeah, we can start mulching the fields because we have leased a mulcher, as you may have noticed at the shop. Get the fields mulched because the plan is with all our other fields, they're going to be merged into one big old field. And then when we do our final grain harvest, which is going to be oats. But yeah, oats we can't plant till March or April. Let's actually have a look here in our storage. So fruit for pallets at the moment. 70 belts, some sparkling grape juice, one pallet of shoes, some cream grape juice, grapeseed oil, and a pallet of clothes. So let me park this up over here, and then we'll get on with the corn harvest. But actually, before we do that, I'll just quickly check on our animals. So we're filling up this with milk. We're not going to do anything with the milk yet, just temporary store in it. We've collected all the story so far, and that is 142,000 litres. And you're just looking at their feed, they're fine for TMR. Could do with more straw, but do we have any straw in storage? Because I don't think we have. Actually, we do, but only 87,000 litres. How have I gone and messed all of that up? Like, I mean, like, seriously, how have I gone and messed that up? And actually, I've got an idea. Let's just buy some straw for the sake of it, so let's go over here, let's use this, which is completely Yeah, so let's see if this except straw. I'm mean, gonna buy it cheaply, we will do it the more expensive route. I know you get straw bells in that, but for the sake of it, I'd rather have a bit of new straw storage. And yes, yeah, not too bad prices, so you know what? I'm just going to let that fit to the max. Screw it. And let's do the corn. So, the corn harvester is over here. Yes, yeah, so we've still got like the prudence to all of our fields and that. That I'll focus on later on, but for now, we need to deal with the corn. Well, apologies there. Yeah, a bit of stuffy news there, but... Yeah, so we're doing the corn now, and... Yeah, at the moment we've got 30,000 years, because we did, like, the heads in almost... In the last episode. And now what we need to do is go get the rest of this done. Put this into... Ooh, what was that on the bottom there? Just a terrain. Yeah, we need to put this all into the farm factory so that we can make cereal. At the moment, we need the oats. We are growing oats with greenhouses and that. And we're going to set those to spawn in, so they should be spawning pallets. I'll actually have a quick look at it now. So, where is it to? Over here. We have the do we have any pallets yet? Oh uh, no. For some reason. Like if I go into one of these. Yeah, oats. Yeah, we're making oats, but I guess it's not such a high volume amount, so it's gonna be a bit so with the production. And yeah, that's still going on. Worst case scenario, we can buy straw and that, not straw, buy oats and that, so I'm not too worried on that. But yeah, let's get the rest of this harvesting done, and then start doing mulching, and maybe in this episode, start merging all the fields together, I think.
And there we go, we are done with the corn harvest, and yeah, overall, not too bad of a hole, 120,000 litres. That was a rather bumpy harvest, that was, because, yeah, it was like, missing bits and that, and I'm just wondering, can we do anything about that? So we're going to grow mode, so go to landscaping, things like softening the terrain. Certainly can do that. But, actually, you know what? I am going to stop. Because I can't tell if we're doing anything. Let's get that to 1.35 mil. Yeah, I can't tell if, <laughs> if it's the money going down because of that. Yeah, 130 grand. So, yeah, I'll see how was worth it. Because, yeah, we're paying, what, about £100 per thousand litres? That is above market price. So let's go back into landscaping. Yeah, we ain't really doing something here, but yeah, overall just not a lot is going on like. It's not so bad here, but it's when it gets over here as well. Most going down a little bit, but not by much. So yeah, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend some time here. So I'm gonna jump car, I'm gonna go around there, see what we can do to fix this issue. Because yeah, if you want to get all these fields merged together, I do want to have as smooth as a terrain as possible. Because yeah, like money barely going down. See, so, yeah, I may need to do some tweaking. But yeah, I'll get this done, and I'll see you folks in a few seconds. Oh, alright. I don't think we've done much work. Like, I tried to flatten this out, and then just removing chunks of the field. But in fairness, I'm not too worried about that, because again, we are going to be merging these fields together. And actually, that's one thing I need to look at is... Do our fields need ploughing? So... Lovely, so... All of this needs ploughing. Obviously, that's our grape field over there. Actually, is it? Just want to have a little look. So, yeah, that's our grape fields. But, yeah, obviously, because we've done the root crops, sugar cane, and sugar beet, and the corn here, we need to plough everything up. So, do I spend time flattening this out? Like, I can flatten this, and I probably will actually. So yeah, this does raise up a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. Like, it curving up, I'm not too worried about that. But do we? Honestly, I don't know. But actually, you know what? I'm going to move away from that. We'll do the plowing in a bit, so we need to mulch these fills first of all. And yeah, if you're going to redo sugar cane, you won't mulch the sugar cane. However, yeah, we're not going to do that again. We've got enough sugar cane storage, like, actually, if we have a look. So if we go to what we've got in storage, up here, so yeah, we've got 1.2 millimeters of sugar cane. And five, yeah, 5.162 millimeters of Sugar King in storage, so yeah, we don't need to do anything with that. Turn the tractors and marks off, always forget to turn those off. Don't need them on, so let's go and put them in here. Obviously, we can get like corn flour now, I think, or corn oil, but at the moment, I'm not interested in that. Yeah, not interested in money and profits at the moment. So yeah, these are clothes here. And actually, I do want to go into the production, so... That's here, so... If we go up here... Yeah, turn corn flour off. We don't... Uh, do we want corn flour, though? I think we need flour at the moment, so I'll turn that on for now. Cereal we're producing, so we need honey. 
got plenty of honey, raisins, we've got some raisins, like raisins, ooh, why am I setting those to sell? Restored raisin, um, oats, I'm guessing that is, so yeah, we've got plenty of oats, 22,000 liters of oats, and yeah, we've got corn in, so, now we're going to be making cereal, and have I set the cereal to set in, or... Nope, storing, so we should have some more packs of that coming up. So yeah, with that, I want to go to... I forgot... Oh no, the tree's over there, so I need a tractor. Let's grab you, because yeah, I want to... Now touch on the wood pellet situation, like I mentioned before about doing pellets. So, off and leave that here. And why are you glitching out? If I detach and detach. Okay, that's happy now. Okay, I'm going to our production, so I want to do wood pellets just again. We've got so many trees we've grown ourselves, so. And yeah, we're going to be using all that in our sawmills. Unless I get another sawmill in. Which we can do. But yeah. Head production. Yeah, you know what? Let's flatten this air out here. And get the head productions in. Um, we also got a bunch of materials for the realistic animated pellet production. And I didn't realise the production rate of this is absolutely rubbish. Like, 8 to 1,600 litres. So, I'm going to barely get. I was going to barely process, what, 10,000 litres a month? Maybe a little bit more, but, anyways, we've got wood chips. Or trade out, and I've gone borrowed a skissier with a pallet fork. And that's because of just basically the space that with the roof in. I'm not sure how this is going to go. It's alright. No more capacity for the empty pallets. If I, if I move those out of the way for the time being. I guess the pallets are going to come, I mean, come out of here and put them onto here. 
However, the other pet production, we've only this just sorted out like 10, 20 minutes ago or so, 10, 15 minutes ago. And already we're getting tons of we get tons of pets from that. That is what 100 in 240,000 of pets a month we can make. Potentially, obviously. So what I'm gonna do is grab this. Get you moved off. Put trucks back down. And also I've got a side there for the wood chips. So yeah. To move this over. Oops. And yeah, we're gonna put this here because yeah, the packs are gonna be spawned here, and I'm guessing these are 5,000 year pallets, so there we go. Next, we need to grab some of these pellet bags. I like bought a crap ton of these because I don't know how much we're going to need overall so I guess these goes in here nope where does the pet bags go here Probably not there. Nope. This said it required pellet bags. So yeah, we've got you and you in. Ah, wait a minute. They go here, right? Ah, fair enough, I actually like that. I actually do like that quite a bit. So yeah, like, the reason the animation of this is really good, like... Got our wood chips. They get squished down in that to make pellets. It goes up to conveyor. Actually, can we follow this? Yeah, so the pellets come here. Go up on this, down to the hopper. Goes into the tumbler to get dried. I'm assuming that's what it is, sort of like dry, get like moisture out of it. Yeah, as the moisture comes out of it, then it gets shooted up it over here, and then it gets taken over here and put it into bags. So, as you can see, it's all functioning. Wood chips are going in. It's all looking good. Yeah, can we see anything from over here? Nope. And I'm guessing these comes out of over here. So. Let's get time ahead a little bit. Should we make oh what's up with that? Actually it's not time scale back a little bit. Still can't move anything with those, but are having issues over here with the pallets. Ah, there's too many pallets. Ah, I guess that's because of all of this I've got. So, bear me a sec whilst I clean up my mess. So, after a little bit of finagling around, there we go. Yep, now we've got our pallets spawned in, and hopefully we can use something like this, like the Lose more transport back, so also those on the right, so and yes we can. So we just put it here. So whenever we get pallets spawned in, they'll go straight to here. So that is lovely jubbly. And yeah, since I've gone and moved our pallet or our pads are no skates here. Take under, that was it. We're forced to use this, but you know what? I think too bad all things considering. Yeah, I know you're at capacity. Yeah, let's see if I can grab some more pads, because what we can do is just 
leave a bunch there, skip over night, and then, yeah, we can have a good compare and contrast of where we stand on the following day. Okay, there's, there's collisions, but there's some low collisions. Um, on that, so can we now grab some, please? How am I supposed to lift this? So, phasing through. What about if we go from the other side? There we go. So, yeah, bear me a sec. So, I want to have a look here and see what the hell's going on with this. So, yeah, skits here, for some reason, it just ain't working with this. Like, don't know what's going on. Nothing in the use mark here. But you know what, let's turn that off. So yeah, I think we'll just use this. Like, I was worried about the clearance issues, but you know what? That is, I'm fine with that. So, got a bunch of pants here. And yeah, I may have bought a bit too much of all the twine in that. So I think what I'll do is just leave these over here. Okay, that did not go well, should have done it on the other side. But yeah, you sort of see how it all works in there. And yeah, this is a slow production. I mean, yeah, like 10,000 litres a month, so... Assuming the pallet sizes are 1,000 litres... Oh, well, we should have a pallet very soon, so... Let's go over here and have a look. We'll get, like, some info. That's good. But why aren't we getting any pallets? Have we hit the pallet a bit again? I tell from here, no. Because otherwise this would have come up saying can't spawn any more pallets, but yeah, compared to two, this production is a lot greater, a lot better. And what's the great demand? Well, let's just skip time till six o'clock. There we go. Takes a while, so yeah, it's fifteen hundred litre pallets, and they weigh one and a half, what, one and a half tons, one point six tons each. So I'm gonna let all this process overnight, and we'll see where we stand in the morning. Well, it is the next day, and yeah, you try to get these pallets all just clear and just clearing up shop in that, and we crash there. And yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to sell. Like, I think, yeah, it's time to get rid of these pallets here. These can be loaded into these pallet bag things, so that's fine. Let's just go and sell these, because we need big space, because we're running out of space to small planets. Even now, I've got everything I've said to sell or distribution. That's including the belts and all that, so it's all big space for the time being. There we go. Yeah, we get a bit of a lag here, spike hand. Yeah, like, I saw so many wine bags, whatever, and pallets. But yeah, I've definitely bought way too much. I mean, like, way, way too much, but anywho, it is what it is at the end of the day. So for now, let's just put these in storage. 
Lag. There we go. Lag. But now, let's just look at the other pen size. We have hit exactly 13.075 million. So let's look at how much we've got over here. 128,000 litres in less than a month. Like, in monthly, we should get about, if everything was perfect in that, 240,000 litres a month. So, yeah, I'll say that's a fair bit. And then we get the rest of these moves a sec. So now we've got everything cleared up. I have set this to selling, like, it's good and that, but I just want to keep on micromanaging this for the time being until we've cleared up all the twine in that, which is going to be like months maybe. Oh, yeah, let's go to 10 o'clock and see how much money we can make. So, update. So, about 25 grand an hour we're making at the moment. That's just by passively and through some bits, but not everything. So now, what we need to do is actually get back onto some farming. Like, I'm thinking about maybe getting some wood over here. Because, yeah, this accepts wood and that, so we can do that. We've also got mulching to do. And, yeah, all sorts of other bits, so... I think to round off the episode here, let's do a little time now, so I'm getting everything done, so, yeah. Want to plow, well, mulch and plow all of this. So, all of this, not the great field grapes we'll do in the next episode, maybe. Also, got to mulch all of this and plow all of this. So, yeah, I'll get these done and then, yeah, we'll start with some, get some trees over. And actually, just for the sake of it. We go to forestry. So I'm thinking chop some trees down and we'll just pull them over. So something like this. Well these out. So yeah, something like this with these out. Ten tons. It can pull so about two logs at a time. So yep. Yeah, this is yeah, now we're hitting a bit of lag spike in store, which we have been having a little bit recently. But overall, it is usually fine, so we'll go to you. I'm not going to load them up, I'm just going to use the winch system, so yeah. Let's get all this done, and I'll see you folks later on. Maybe in a couple of hours once we get all this done, because I do not know how long this is all going to take.
right, here we are. It is just gone quarter past one. Time may be a bit different compared to the time lapse. That's because I had a game crash and had to resume from about 10 o'clock, so last three hours we've just been working all the fields, so let's go and have a look. So what we've got done is we've mulched and ploughed all the fields. Also, I have started the merging of the fields, so if we go to here a sec, go to drone mode, we can have a look, see, pretty much, I have merged fields like before, there used to be a little strip here, but now that strip is gone, so, yeah, may get rid of these trees, I may keep them, so I do like the aesthetic of, you know, having to work around these fields, but I may, yeah, I may still remove them for the wood chips. Speaking of which, if we head over over here, we got some logs. We did borrow a lorry and a trader. Just get some logs set it up. But at the moment we've got 172,000 years of wood chips. And yeah, we could do a bit more wood chips and a bit more logs, so pop it to the one forty. And yeah, that's the thing with this, it does require a lot of micromanagement. But you know what, it's worth it I think, to be honest. So that's that. Also, I think what we should be doing now is start setting some of our equipment. So I've got some equipment at the store. I've already sold our two pickups, the Phoenix. Well, not uh, the TLX, whatever it is, 2020 or whatever it is, 2022, including that ridiculous, like, monster truck version. So, yeah, we're just going to keep this here for the time being. Now, as we need it ever so often, we will process this, and, yeah, like, we've made a mistake with this, like, or I've made a mistake, and... Yeah, we don't need as close as much bell bags or pallets. Because yeah, like 40, 180 pieces. So yeah, that's going to be a while to process and more parts to do in the next episode or between episodes is just go and get everything all taken care of. So if we head to the store, we got our con officer, because it's not going to do con anymore. We got the sprayer because I'm going to go with solid fertilizer. We've got our sea tank and our tree planter and our square con bell pickup. So, we'll go over here. And yeah, all she needs to do is repair and repaint everything. Do get a bit of money back from repainting it? So, even though we do need the money, but a little bit of money is. Not an issue, so yeah, almost at 13 and a half mil. And next, we need to get these filled up, so we need to feed this whole 10,000 litres. So we'll get this filled up and then we'll start spraying the fields. And there we go, 9,500 litres. So that should have what? Let's go do cheeky the fill up. May need to make some more cool trips and yeah, I bought bags and that and I'm sure we got fertilizers somewhere in one of our size or productions, but yeah, just because we was at the store it made sense to just, you know, go and start doing the or start purchasing some bags and that. And yeah, this will take a while, so I think that'll be a job for the next episodes. Also, we need to get the liming done. And yeah, again, something like that will be done off camera. And I think next time we'll see each other. We'll be in February, skip ahead some days and that. Just turn around the productions and that. As so yeah, this is going to be the final year coming up in January. I'll say, yeah. In terms of episodes, uh, about five episodes left, I think. Just depends on how many episodes I want to do in that. 
and what needs to do in the trophy all the grapes that's going to be one episode harvesting it planting the oats that's one episode harvesting the oats one episode maybe even like the bathing in that could be one episode and yeah I'll figure out some more on that but see so yeah, actually you know what I'm going to get work on this and I'll head to you as we need to start liming the fields and in terms of what actually needs liming we have a look so pretty much up here is fine yeah it's just several patches that needs doing and actually I think you know what let's empty this and get it filled up with fertilizer and actually how do I go about doing that is rather than having to empty the light map because that's going to produce bags and it's going to contribute to the whole palette issue we'll be having I was going to at least a second dry box and whilst the worker is working on that mega field we will work on this mega field and actually it's a grass race and mow it is so again that could be some more prep work I could do in between episodes is get that quickly cut and then yeah the next episode we can start plowing that yeah, cause all, yeah, it's getting all these fields merged together. So come March or April, we will be able to just get everything done, get everything drilled, and yeah, I'll be using maybe like some of the Borgo stuff. Just have a quick reminder of what we've got available. It's under Cedars. So you've got the Borgo stuff, that's my giant software. Or the case, not the case, the John Deere C850 error cards, or the Seahawk error card. So, one of those I will be using in terms of what? I am not sure. But, anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If not, subscribe to me, then please consider. But, for what I choose to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, it's before I'm ever extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.